Hello everyone, my name is Griffin, mentor of 422 Mechtech Dragons, Sweet Tea Region Recap Correspondent, and first updates now, Chesapeake Hype Man. And welcome to another episode of Fun Analysis. In this episode, we're going to be reviewing Finals Match 1 at Hunami Port Regional and discuss these alliance's strategies, where they could have potential improvements, and assess key points that everyone can think about in their upcoming events. So let's go ahead and jump right in. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University is looking for talented robotics students who want to continue learning and innovating in a hands-on real-world experience format. Kettering University representatives will be at dozens of FIRST events this season, including the championship. Go to kettering.edu slash FIRST to see which events you can meet a Kettering University representative. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com slash first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. Let's take a look at these alliances. In blue, we have 4414 High Tide, 696 Circuit Breakers, 1670 uh, Citrus Circuits, and then in red, we have 4481 Team Rembrandts, 3859 Wolfpack Robotics and 6036 Peninsula Robotics. So, in auto, auto runs very simple here. We see the robots go and score. We see both alliances try and rush out to grab other pieces, and it's very simple. Now, to see as it ends, we have both hit a balance and we see multiple pieces scored. So, let's take a Let's pause here and take a look at this. We have one, and we had two cones scored from blue. Now, this is a lot of points, but we do have one, two up high, and one mid, and one low from red. This is way more points and way more efficient in auto than what the blue alliance has put up. And what people don't realize is that you don't necessarily have to score high in auto. Yes, it's more numbers, but the bonus from it is only one point for each location. So there's no benefit from going to a certain location. It's all about just getting something to a location. Now, in now in now right out of auto, I want you to take a look right here at 1678, and then follow up by following circuit breakers that go along this way. So you'll notice that circuit, rather than score, Citrus Circuits just tripped their cube. Now this allows for High Tide right here to pick it up and immediately score. This is a, this is a common theme that I see the, that the Blue Alliance is going to employ here, to where they allow their main, one of the, their major scorers the ability to just run cycles on their own end. And you'll see Citrus, or Circuit Breakers do it right here. As you see, Rather than them scoring it themselves, they are just rushing pieces to their side to allow for their own alliance, who can actually score, to, to score pieces that they normally cannot. And you'll notice that also the, re the red alliance right around here, uh, specifically you'll be wanting to watch 3859, they're playing the standard like two offensers, one defender. Now, when it comes to defense, this game is very touchy because it's a very wide open space with the with not a whole lot to defend at. No major choke points, no major safe zones to try and uh, exploit. So let's continue here and see what, how 3859 defends. So you notice right here that they're really blocking up and they back off as soon as they get to their safe zone. Now, the main thing here is that in this safe zone right here, if you, tr if you are in that area and a robot touches you, or if you touch a robot in their area, then you get a penalty. And you'll see that's very close here coming up. So right here, like this is like very close right here. And if, and you'll notice that right here, they're waving the flag. So that is because right here, uh, 3859 was breaking this line right here and then the blue robot touched them. If people don't, I haven't seen this as the most common thing that is fouled upon. If you, if you break that line in any f form with contact, so if you or 
the opposing robot are breaking that line and there is contact made, the foul will incur. So you need to be very careful about defending against your opponent. On the flip side of that, instead of defending around here and the potential for you incurring a penalty on your side, defend around here on your own side. That that allows for you to potentially in, like either rack up penalties or scare your opponents from like uh, claiming those penalties on you. And this so the main choke point to think about is right here to force them all the way around this way or force them over the switch that could potentially offset them. So we continue scoring, continue scoring. Now I will say right here, while the Blue Alliance is running this idea of getting of 696 getting out of the way for uh, these two alliance, their two alliance mates to do more. I will say that for this time frame right here, they are not doing a whole lot. To where right here, what they could do is go out, grab one of the cubes, and hurt it back this way. While not scoring it, they could potentially get, uh, get a cube that high tide or circuits can score. And now, as we continue on, we continue on. We see just circuits just pass by. Now, you'll notice that they pass by these cones right here and just continue scoring. That's because it's best to leave anything you have right here to late game. So that way, it's short, short cycle burst. They can get out back to back to back to back if you're able to pick up off the ground, which 44-14, you'll see, is about to try here. You'll see, you'll see right here, High Tide is about to try and pick up these pieces. Now, this is, now for these next few seconds, I want you to watch the clock right here and uh, watch to see how long it takes 4414 to pick up a piece. So you see their first few attempts, they are not picking up this piece. There's a foul incurred, or an, another, another portion of defense. Do not touch the... Do not touch the switch. Do not touch the switch that your opponent has. That is an immediate penalty. So please avoid that if you're ever trying to defend. So they're still trying to pick up. They're still trying to pick up. And they finally pick up. Now notice that it took them a whole 12 seconds. Because it started at 65, at 65 seconds. And it took them until 53 to finally pick up and head towards their scoring area. Be very careful about committing to a piece. If the piece is in a hard to reach place, even no matter how close it is, it is not worth like a potential piece that you could get from over here in your scoring area. And now you'll notice that we have two, or we have a link formed here, link formed here, link formed here. And so that, that's whole links. And then we have one down here, two down here. And, we, and uh, if you'll notice in the bottom left, there is no links in the bottom here. Now, like Citrus Circus is starting, to, starting on this th set of three right here, and it's doing the first set of links. So they... So there they go with the points. And you'll notice that Circuit Breakers is starting to push stuff in. Now, here, now if you'll notice right here that this is where a potential uh, problem as well. High Tide, so we'll actually just back up a little bit to sh show that. So you notice High Tide right here was coming out with a cube in hand, but they were pushing this one right here. You need to be very, very careful about plowing rules. Because if you're holding one and you start pushing one, you're going to get penalty to penalized for controlling more than one game key piece. And that's where that penalty occurred. And an another penalty, another penalty, which I do not know if it was fully captured or not. But again, Citrus Circus running the exact same penalty problem to where they were carrying multiple game pieces. While what's about to ha happen is really fun to where they just did this bounce score. It's still, it was still pe potentially penalized. Now we're moving into end game, and we're seeing the balances. We're seeing our, the balances start to come into play, and it, showing in game, uh, red has one, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, uh, 
six links with currently none in the bottom and or I'm sorry, I misspoke. They have four links with one with one, two, three, four, five pieces scored. While these are were all well and then if you look on the opposite side, we have a, a couple more links to where it's one, two, three, and then uh, high tide right here is about to make four with five at the bottom here. The links are very much a major part because one link equals one point up high. So if you're able to clear links, you could potentially make up for differentials by uh, higher scored stuff. But again, it's about whether, but in order to watch for that, you need to make sure you're scoring in the links themselves. Because for example, you have two right here that aren't forming a link. You have two right here that aren't forming a link. So if you are if you are noticing that you're scoring stuff in places that aren't scoring links, then you need to think about where to place certain pieces and when, and in order to get those links. So now now red went for the triple balance and immediately finished. Now they did that with 15 seconds still on the clock. Potentially, what they could have done, they had one. If you look down here, they have one, two, three, four, five places open to score. What they could have even done was have one of their robots just come over here, grab one of these uh, stray ones right here, like right here, right here, right even down here, and score one thing down below quickly and then go climb. That would have allowed them to not only get one more cycle in, but also get that balance in, in holistically. Now... And then over here, we see that uh, Citrus Circuits is going for this balance right here. I right quick to watch tr Citrus Circuits here. Uh, after they are going to attempt to climb and fail. Now, but watch what happens after the after they do fail. So they fail, and then they back away. Normally, people people would just say like, give up, give up. But they run in, make sure that they get the community park. If you end, if you end end game in here and are not able to balance on here, then you you get two extra points because the scaling of two for being in here, uh, six for being on here, and 10 for being on there while balanced. So, you, so those two points right there could be a game changer. And you'll see with the score right here, it did in fact change. So automobility, the one, or, so if you, if we want to trace back a bit to the, uh, to the start of uh, to the end of auto right here to where there was everybody, everything balanced and whatnot, you'll notice that this robot didn't move and this robot didn't move. If you are able to, find ways to make it in auto to where you actually still move because those points could mean the difference. While it is only three points, it is very much a differential in this game given that this match in fact tied. Now if we fast forward back to the point breakdown so the grid they they got more points right here because they were able to finish more links whereas they were only able to score 90 because of course that while they scored around the same amount of eaten pieces not enough links were formed charge station of course that everybody both sides got the balance bonus and auto and then they got a triple versus they got a double now oh end game park of course this is where it mattered and then of course the penalties mattered the, these three numbers right here were the main reasons why it tied because they were they were able to tie this uh, end game park because of the fact that they had this in their bank and add on that with a the penalty they really needed it in their bank in order to in, in order to account for it so the main takeaways from this match are definitely think about where you finish an auto Think about the community parks. Think about the tiniest little bits of points. Try and rack up as many points as possible and as quickly as possible. Because one one extra cube, one extra parking community, one extra movement out of auto could be the difference to prevent this from happening in finals. Good luck everybody in your competitions and I hope to see you guys soon. This video on first updates now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. 
If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. Kettering University is looking for talented robotic students who want to continue learning and innovating in a hands-on real-world experience format. Kettering University representatives will be at dozens of FIRST events this season, including the championship. Go to kettering.edu slash FIRST to see which events you can meet a Kettering University representative. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.